Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. So I have it, the clear route's different, the B route was open, and now I'm getting that X route to the outside. So it's the exact same concept, and then you're just kind of reading how the coverages react to them. You don't even have to read the defense necessarily. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a tip video today, a passing tip video on how to beat every defense in Madden 20. I'm going to go over the routes and the concepts that beat pretty much every defense. I'll show you the weak points, the weak areas uh, where you can basically beat defenses, uh, whether it's, you know, man zone, cover two, cover three, cover four, and do all that in, in today's video. Before I get into that, though, uh, this was a concept, uh, the video idea anyway, was brought to me by a subscriber. So if you have anything that you guys want to see turned into a video or a topic you want me to discuss, uh, make a video about, let me know in the comment section because that could easily turn out to be a video. So I'm going to start off with man coverage. Uh, when it comes to man coverage, there really isn't concepts to beat man coverage. It's really just routes. You have to know what routes get open against man coverage. So I'm going to pick man cover too. Uh, and then I'm just going on, on the offensive side. Um, like I said, there's so many different routes that beat man. I'll pick a wide spread here uh, and I'll just pick a random play. So off the top, um, you know, this is, I hate using two controllers because I don't even remember what the what the, <laughs> what the controls are that show play art. So when it comes to man coverage, one of the easiest routes, crossing routes used to do a really good job against man coverage. They don't this year. Like I said, you'll see the A route there. He's crossing. He never gets open. In fact, the defender's even leading him. So crossing routes don't really do that great of a job. Slant routes do an okay job. I'll go ahead and I'll try to isolate that i know a lot of people like to use slants i'll just go over the ones that are in your audibles first so slant routes have a tendency to break open but those crossing routes they just don't so you really gotta you know slants if you want to send something across the field the slant will probably be the best option um the slant route does a good job uh but it's even still like if i were to you know certain routes still don't do a great job when it comes to slants the zig route i chose this play because the zig route which is also in your audibles uh is one of the better adjustments that you can do um, although I don't have that option on the tight end. So if I wanted to do a zig route on both sides, say your, your, your user wants to start using the zig routes, the zig routes will both get open. The Y route and the RB route, if you, especially if you throw it in the break, um, are, are an excellent audible to beat um, for short range you know, completions. The zig route is going to be a really great play. Other than that, a comeback route is a really good play. Uh, ultimately, though, the comeback route, it's a timing-based route. They're all timing-based routes. Uh, but if you have a jam on a comeback route, a lot of times like there, that was actually the, <laughs> the defender that followed the, uh, the A route across actually got in the way. So we'll go ahead and we'll get him out of the way. But if you, if you, these are all adjustments you can make in, in game, in play. You don't have to actually um, have them you know, on the play called. But a really good play for any man coverage, if you time it right, is a comeback route. They're going to get open. So zig routes, comeback routes, and slants are all going to be in your adjustments that no matter what play you pick, uh, you can make an adjustment during the play and have a lot of success against man. So that's important. A uh, regular curl route will do the job as well uh, as I get the play art up here, but it's not going to create a huge separation. You just have to, you can time that, you can have the same effect. I want to wait till it comes back to the route, but the separation is not the same as, as the comeback route. Things like out routes also have a uh, in routes and out routes are going to have the same effect. Um, they're going to be okay. They're not going to be uh, you know great plays, but they will get separations. Like I said, see right here, just a regular out route will get it. Drag routes, obviously, um, these are all things that are in your audibles um, that you can use to beat man coverage. So if you just have a simple drag, a lot of times those drags now, you see how they get bumped. You know what I mean? Like they, that doesn't necessarily happen the same way in an out route or an in route. But the animations you get now uh, with simple drag routes really aren't that great. So, like I said, you have uh, a lot of adjustments you can make uh, whether you call a play for man or not. You have a lot of plays um, that can really work well against man. So, those are really good man plays. Let's go and let's find some routes that aren't going to be in your adjustments that you can pick to beat man. So I went ahead and picked a uh, popular concept. I picked some bunch plays. So now I have um, your Z spot and go, your Z spot, uh, things of that nature. So you'll be able to see how, um, you know, all these routes are really going to have success against man. One that might not is the sluggo, but I picked it. That's an okay one. Uh, but I'm going. I'm still going against a cover two, uh, which ultimately, you know, these plays are going to have most success against like, you know, man zero or, um, you know, man cover one, which isn't even in here. But uh, like, a, like a man blitz like this, obviously there's no safety over the top. So the sluggo is going to have um, the most success. All these plays are going to have the most success with single high safeties um, rather than two high safeties. 
but you can you can address that with some simple adjustments so i'll go back to the cover two man um, where here we have obviously like i said two deep safeties so that's going to split the field in half some of these concepts won't work as well but i can adjust the this a play like this by simply putting one of these routes on a streak uh, and then like i said wheel routes are going to be really good against um, a play like this I didn't, I didn't mean to do that but let's put the a route on a streak so now we have two deep safeties but this a route is going to pull back the safety to the point where um, these wheel routes are going to work it's really hard working two controllers i hope I'm, I'm doing this the best way possible but like i said that safety will pull back that or that uh, that player will pull back that one safety and create a throwing lane i probably should have passed like that a little bit more to the outside outside boundary but you definitely have a good play uh, when it comes to uh, something like this so I'm gonna try this one more time I want to get this uh, I want to get a completion to Gin here so like I said using man route concepts got that B got, this B route should get open I just need to bullet it and there we go like I said you can definitely get that play off against cover two if you pull back those zones so now that you know what routes beat uh, all the man coverages uh, like I said these things are gonna be important because when you play against opponents you can if they're running a lot of man you can you know beat them with just adjustments you don't even need money plays. doesn't matter what book you're in or uh, you know anything of that matter so now we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna pick a pretty basic play uh, one of my more favorite plays uh, that I I've met, you know, mentioned in the past the bench play. This should be in just about every playbook. You should have a bench concept in just about every book. And then we're going to work our way through coverages, uh, you know, just coverage to coverage as far as uh, concepts that beat uh, cover two. We'll start there first. Now, this is a perfect concept for cover two because, you know, cover two, you know, you can obviously tell that there are uh, gaps. There are gaps to the outside and there's gaps over the middle. So I really have a couple different options. Typically, when I run this play, I'll put my running back on a streak and motion him to the line. I guess in this particular formation, some formations you can motion the line, some you can't. I guess I try to motion him to the left, but it's whatever. So obviously, um, now I have a play that should be able to beat cover two in any scenario. If I really wanted to kick it up a notch, putting uh, Smith here on a flat is really the way to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll run it. Like I said, right here, just pull the coverage down and you can see how uh, it beats it outside. So I'll go to the replay to show the many different ways that this could have worked. When it comes to cover two, a lot of people typically online will put a mid third. So the running back typically isn't gonna work. Even though here they didn't, you could see how that still gets, gets the safety's attention first. So, you know, in, in, in previous years, this guy might go right up the middle for a, for a big play. This year, I find that since he's getting downfield quick, as he'll pull the safety in. So that's a scenario where it'll do that. Like I said, all I was really trying to do was create a bigger throwing lane for this guy anyway, because he's pretty much going to be the play. Because you can see that the outside, that this is where the issues are. This is where cover two is, is most vulnerable, is to the outside. It doesn't cover outside very well. Now, as far as the flat receiver, um, a lot of times... If, depending on what type of cover two it is, I mean, he's still kind of open. You know what I mean? I could have threw to him for a check down if I wanted to. Uh, when it comes to cover three, you typically need someone pulling back the same way, and then you need somebody underneath. So in this scenario, I'll go ahead and motion over the uh, the running back, um, which, like I said, I don't know why. It, it, didn't, it doesn't let me motion him to the line on the left side. I, I'm not really sure what the deal is there. I'm having issues. Uh, but, yeah, so here we go. So now we have um, a high-low concept. Uh, we have a guy pulling back, we have a post, and then we have the RB route. The RB route's going to get open right away. Uh, cover threes and cover fours don't cover underneath really well. So, you know, because they're, they're off coverages. So you can steal that all game. Anytime you see somebody um, running a coverage like that, like I said, I don't know why it's not letting me motion Kamara to the left. I always thought that it could. Maybe that was something that was patched recently. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and I'll motion to the right. It also depends on formation. I don't, I don't know. Formations can be funny. But like I said, I can steal that all game. Uh, if I have that 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 route pulling back, I could always steal that outside route. But you can see it's covered way better. You can still get it. So this is another, you know, cover four once again. Just like all these plays are most vulnerable outside and over the middle. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to pick the drive H wheel. This is a play that I use uh, quite a bit. And then I'll pick cover four drop show two. So a couple different plays like this. You can recreate this uh, this concept with this Y route taken to the edge. Like I said, they're not, um, you know, that drag route coming over is drawing the attention of the purple, uh, the curl flat anyway, um, from Thomas, from the B route. Uh, you'll see if I let this run all the way out, he will eventually drop down on it. If you see right there, you see how he drops down to the B route? So, you know, that drag, it's a similar concept to the cover three. It's kind of a mix of the cover three and the cover two. In the cover two, I had a route underneath 
and a route over the top. I think I flipped it by accident again. Uh, but I had a, I had um, a high route and a low route. The the, uh, the X route, the drag, creates the low route. It's the same concept pretty much every time, if you want to know the truth about it. You have three levels. You have a streak pulling coverage back. You have an outside route to the post. And then you have a, uh, a lower route, like a drag, pulling coverage down. It's the same concept that I showed in cover two. And it's the same shot concept that I showed in cover three for the most part. You just need your three levels. And you're always going to have openings outside no matter what zone coverage it is. So to create that concept again, we're going to use the, the wing stack. It has a very similar play in the uh, the spot stick where it just doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's cover two, cover three or cover four. This concept will always work. So here we go into cover four. Once again, I'm just going to streak the B route and then I'm going to drag the A route and we'll just block everything else. I actually think I made a mistake. And, and yeah, so that's all we need. We have whether it's cover two, cover three, or cover four, same zone concepts. Now we have. Uh, the setup we have something for everything uh, we're just waiting for this guy to get outside like I said it's not as big a window so it's pretty much the same concept every time you just need guys pulling coverages you know what I mean that's really all it is so here I'll go ahead and I'll just like I said it's different with all these um <laughs> With uh, not being able to see how my, see my play, but like I said, I mean, even if it's not like here, we'll have the A route, the A route, or the X route will be open. One of the two. It really depends on which way the curl flat drops, but that's pretty much it. And then where you're on the field is going to matter a lot too, because it is a tight window to the deeper route. So let's go ahead and let's do this one more time. I'm not going to block the running back. I don't really need to. They're only they're only sending three. So here we go. Like I said, more spacing will make it a little bit easier to get that pass lead outside. But that's pretty much how you're going to beat uh, cover four. So it's the same look. It's the same look every time. It's the same concept that has success. It's a it's a high route, a low route, and something pulling the coverage back, a streak pulling the coverage back, which is called a clear out route. So you got your clear out, you got your high and low, and then you're just reading uh, what you're looking at. It's really that simple. So it's going to look from time to time, it's the, 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 the low route's going to change from time to time. The mid route's going to change from time to time. The streak's going to change, but it's always the same concept. I think I can motion over Kimura and create the exact same look. So right here, I mean, I could easily put, I think I can put the B route. If I'm just creating, it's the exact same idea right here. So I have it, the clear out's different. The B route was open and now I'm getting that X route to the outside. So it's the exact same concept just slightly different you know I mean, it's always the same concept though it's always the same what looks like almost like a triangle concept where you just have um you know like i said if i if i motion this guy out like i said it just looks like you're, you're you're creating three different points of attack and then you're just kind of reading how the coverages react to them you don't even have to read the defense necessarily uh the x route here doesn't look like it's going to be i mean if i'm going for the deep route you have the option but it's just it's just a very you know it's a very consistent concept that you can use in just about any play so that's it that's the vid uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I would like to do a run video like this. Hit do me a favor to the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.